Okay, some very basic picture editing and manipulation things here. We're going to open up a picture. This water scale will do nicely. We are now going to crop it to a slightly different shape, straighten it up, change the brightness of it a little bit, and save it as a smaller image because this is quite a big one straight out of the camera. So let's start with straightening it up. You see the uh, waterline at the back there is not straight. If we go edit, rotate, there are set 90 degrees forwards, backwards, or flip it around, but we want to put a figure in here of how far to rotate it. I reckon that's probably about a 2 degree slant on there, so we're going to rotate it 2 degrees clockwise. Okay. It has rotated it. That looks pretty straight. That's alright. If I didn't like it, I could always just click the undo here and try it again with a different figure. Okay. Now, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. We have a zoom control here. Zoom in, zoom out. Incidentally, when you zoomed in, you can pan around the picture by grabbing this box and moving it. Or, if you press the space bar while your cursor is over the picture, it turns into a little grab hand and you can click and drag the picture around. And I'm going to zoom out for the purposes of cropping it next and select the crop tool here which lets me draw a box on the picture. Now at the moment just that, um, I have constrained proportions clicked here and I've got 4 and 3 in there which means when I draw the box it stays as 4 wide by 3 high in that proportion. Um, maybe I don't want to do that so I'll cancel that and just untick constrained proportions and now I can the box however big I want. There we go, that'll do nicely. Click OK. And there I have it cropped to the size that I want. A nice straight horizon in there. I'm also going to just make a slight edit on the contrast. So if we go on to colours, there are a whole load of effects that we can apply here. One of the easiest is brightness and contrast. Just move that out of the way. You'll see now that I can make the picture lighter or darker. I can increase the contrast or decrease it a little bit. I want to punch it out, bring it up, and make it a little bit more contrasty, like that. If I untick the preview, it'll go back to how it was. So we can see the difference it has made there. Okay, that's good enough for now, so we'll click OK. Now, if we have a look at the image size, edit image size, we'll see that this is still 2200 pixels wide, which is quite a bit wider than I need it for what I'm going to do. So I'm going to change this and I'm going to type in that box 800. I only want it 800 pixels wide. You'll see that it has also changed the height box here to keep the picture in the same proportions. That's because this constrained proportion is ticked here. And that's what we want. If we didn't do that, then we'd end up with a very... Uh, it would cut it in one direction only when end up with an odd shaped picture. Okay, so if I click OK on there, bang, it's reduced it. And in fact, if I zoom in to 100% now, that's the actual size of the picture that I've got. Now we're going to save that. I'm going to go File, Save As. If I just did save, it would overwrite the original. I don't want to do that, so I'll click Save As. There is our original. And what I'm going to do, actually, is just change the name and call it... Because it's 800 pixels wide. Save that. It's asking me what compression I want on it. When you save a picture as a JPEG, it actually compresses the file so it doesn't take up so much space. However, in doing so, it loses a bit of quality. So it gives you the choice of deciding whether you want very poor quality but a very small file, very high quality but a larger file. 
and its default position of 80% is pretty good for most purposes. So we'll just leave it there and go save. Okay, that should have done it.